In this video, I will show you how I make the thumbnails for my videos in Canva. Happy New Year, Francois here. I like exploring ways that I can make my technology work for me. If you would like to get the best out of your technology, why not subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks on how to do that. I started using Canva with my very first serious YouTube video. I've been watching YouTube for a long time and the first thing that attracts me and I gather most other people are engaging thumbnails. At first I just used the template thumbnails and added my own text and other features. Um, as time went on I started taking pictures of myself for my thumbnails and started inserting them inside these templates. Currently I have a style that incorporates my channel colors and my logo. So for now I'm going to walk you through how I got to this design. Shout out to Primal Video for showing me how to do this and as usual I'll link their video in the description below. Okay, so I'm working on my Mac, so I'm currently inside the Canva website. You could download the app onto your phone and do pretty much the same from there if you prefer. As I said earlier, I usually just start with a template, then add some elements to make it my own. For this example though, I just deleted everything to make it look like we're starting from scratch. So here we have a blank page in the dimensions of a YouTube thumbnail, which is 1280 by 720 pixels. Next, I'll add a picture that I took after recording my video. I usually just take this picture using portrait mode in the built-in camera app on my iPhone. This gives the background a nice blurry effect with your subject in focus in the foreground. I upload the picture using the upload tab on the left of the screen. I resize and position the picture to where I want it. I think it's a good idea to position the picture of myself on the right so that I can add text and most other elements on the left. Next, I add an upright rectangular shape which will serve as a background for my text and elements. I like to add an additional rectangle which I tilt slightly. I admit this may not be the best way to do this as I could have just added one tilted shape but hey I'm not a designer. So you tilt the shape by clicking and holding the button on the side or bottom of the shape and moving it with your mouse. The shape is placed on top of the picture by choosing its position relative to the picture or as you will see later relative to all the other elements. Then I add my logo in the top right corner. I don't always think this is necessary but I'm experimenting with it for now. After that, I add some more rectangle shapes, which will be the background for each text item. You can change the color by clicking on the color swab in the left corner. I then add the text. I try to make it as big as possible and I use a nice clear bold font called Barlow Black. You can see Canva has a lot of nice fonts, some hidden behind a paywall that is unlocked if you choose to upgrade. You can change the color for these and in fact any element by clicking on the color swab in the top right corner. Finally, I add some image elements. The first is one I uploaded from my computer. In this example, the picture is the LumaFusion app icon. You can also just add elements directly from Canvas element library. There are some nice free ones or you can get premium images marked with a crown if you upgrade to Canva Pro. As you can see, there are many more options when you click on the tabs on the left of the screen. There are options for text and photos. You can also just upload images from your computer. You can use templates which come with text and elements. You can add music or videos and change your background or see what's in your folders. If you want to add more folders, then you need to subscribe to the Canva Pro plan. This unlocks many more features and you can choose whether you would like to be billed monthly or annually. It's definitely a reasonable price for all the functionality you get. But I find the free version is fine for my current needs. The pro version does come with a free trial period so you can try this out at no extra cost if you like. I mean that's what free means right? <laughs> Sorry. If you click this more tab then you will see it opens additional options like styles or themes and charts and even other apps you may want to link to your Canva account. So as you can see Canva makes it really easy for you to design your YouTube thumbnails. Once I'm done all this work I usually just make a copy and replace the relevant information to speed up this process for each video I make. Canva also has templates to get you started designing for various other platforms. Something I find useful is using Canva to design my marketing pictures for social media to promote my videos. You can even 
even spice up your Facebook and Instagram posts and stories here. And all your designs are stored away safely and are very easy to find by clicking on the tab in the top left corner of your homepage. Once you have created an account and logged in and you have made some designs on this platform previously of course. They also have a design school under the learn tab so that you can see how things are done. So check out the app or their website and get designing. Canva is good for people with little design experience or perhaps people just wanting to save time on their designs. There are tons of free templates and things to use to make a good design for your YouTube thumbnails or social media stories or posts. Canva also has a great YouTube channel with short videos to help you get started or longer tutorials if you really want to get serious about your designs. I think this is a great way to get started with design and a way to fuel your creativity and make your technology work for you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. Comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Subscribe so you get notified when the next helpful video is out. And feel free to share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.